Hello everyone. Welcome back to this today's tutorial on Informatica IDMC. In today's session, we are going to see how to delete or purge data in Informatica IDMC, especially customer 360 business entity. There are several use cases. Suppose you want to refresh your data in lower environment using the production data or you might have loaded a lot of junk data and you want to get rid of the all those data. We have a API which we can execute to delete or soft delete the record. But is there a way to delete all the record permanently? And the answer is yes. And that is nothing but a purge process or delete process. We can use purge or delete process in Informatica IDMC in order to delete all the data in a given business entity application. We need to know few things before deleting or purging the record. Of course, we need to have access to some of the tools. First, you need to have the access to the Informatica IDMC platform and you need to have the administrative privileges in order to purge the data. With a regular user, you might be a developer or designer for that application, but you will not able to perform the purge or delete action. So make sure you have the access to IDMC as an administrator. Then you need to access the business entity or business 360 console. So make sure you have the access to business 360 console as well. And then you need to know the details about whether you want to delete the data for the, all the business entities or you are going to delete the data for specific business entity. So get that details as well. Important things to remember when you are going to run this purge or delete process, make sure um, we can delete this data not only development but also in QN prod as well. We can permanently delete this data without deleting the data model or the, the configuration which we have done for the customer 360 application. The another thing to remember is nothing but we can delete the business entity data, the base, base data or the core data as well as we can delete the cross reference data or the source data and we can delete the historical data. We can delete the relationship also if you have already configured the relationship in your business 360 console or the application. Then we can delete the data specific to any given business entity or if you want to delete for all the business entity data you can delete that as a single request. Now before you trigger the purge or delete job make sure you take care of the following thing. The very first thing is we have to make sure there are no jobs are running that will create a problem for execution. So make sure all the jobs are either completed or error state. Then we have to make sure all the workflows which we are currently executing are finished and then check with your business user. Make sure no other users are accessing the business application that is customer 360 application and then and then you can perform the purge action. Of course as a regular best practice do not make any metadata changes like adding the column or changing the length of column in your customer 360 data model. Do not make any configuration changes. Also, do not run the, the machine, learning, machine learning job in your customer 360 application because that will impact the purging process as well. Now we got some basic idea about the purging the data. Let's go ahead and have a demo about how to purge the data, what are the options available and which option you need to select in order to perform this action. So I have logged in to this IDMC platform and here I can see the multiple chiclets. Let's go ahead and select the business 360 console chiclet. It is a microservice which can be used to perform various administrative as well as data modeling configuration. Once you select this chiclet, then we have to go to the global settings. Purging or deleting data, it is a very simple process only few configuration you need to select in order to perform this action. Once you go to the global settings, you can go to the purge data tab and here you can click on the start button. Once you select the start button, it will show us the a dialog box with three options. Very first option is 
delete or purge all the data. So this will delete all the historical data as well as the relationship along with the business entity records. If you want to just delete the history data, you can select the purge the history of all the record. So if you want to delete the history, it is a good option also. Sometimes you see like lower performance and you want to delete some history data. In that scenario, you can use this option. And the last one is purge records specific to a given business entity. So this is a very commonly used option where instead of deleting all the data in your system, you can select the specific business entity and then delete the data for that. I'll select this, the last option, purge record that belongs to specific business entity. And once you select this radio button, you need to select the what is the business entity for which you want to delete the data. So from there, you'll select the, this drop down box. Here we can see a business entity. Let's go ahead and select the person as a business entity. Click on the select button. Once you select that person as a business entity, click on the next button. The next button is nothing but it is a confirmation page. It says like uh, various options. So what are we discussed earlier? Make sure there are no users are logged in, no jobs are running, etc. Then we need to provide the org ID. It's very important. So make sure you provide the correct org ID. And then you have to select the checkbox. Now go ahead and select the purge button. So the purge process is started. You'll see the data purge. This is the job. Now let's go ahead and see the status of the purge job. For that, we'll go to the my jobs and under the my job, you'll see this data purge with the ID. And the status is queued. Let's go ahead and open this job. Here we can see the job instance details, name, purge entity, queued, etc. The purge record, so it gives the more additional details. It will have the runtime parameters also. If you want to do the refresh, you can go on the right hand side and refresh this button. It is still queued state. So this way we can perform the purge process. You have to go to the global setting. From there you can trigger the purge job and select few options. And then you can monitor the, the status of the process under the my jobs. Right now it is going to take some more time because it is going to process the high volume of data. I hope you got the idea about how to purge the data. If you have any questions or queries about Informatica MDM, or any questions related to the MDM SaaS, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you for your time and do not forget to subscribe my channel. Have a good one.